I've talked about this with you before, but also just like getting into porn way too young um, was definitely or is something I definitely still regret. Definitely but, a problem for a lot of people. Just the whole, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's, again, it's kind of, it's so normalized, but it's so bad for you. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, it's, it's a very, it's a problem that so many people are struggling with that is just like taboo, so they don't talk about it. But for some reason, it's like normal to talk about, you know, like watching porn. Like that's yeah. the kind of the weird thing. It's normalized. That's true, to actually. Like, that's really yeah. weird. I, I did make a video on it because I thought, like, it does need to be talked about more. Because I know a lot of the self improvement, like YouTube, does talk about it, like no yeah. fap and stuff. But yeah, it does I know it's, need to be more public. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it's only really in that kind of that niche of people online here in the personal development that really talk about it. Like other than that like section of the internet i feel like it's basically not talked about um at all or at least very very little um i know uh i think improvement pill is probably like yeah one of the biggest channels who's actually talked about it um and you, of course you got you got i don't know if you've heard of ice cold jt yeah yeah he kind of blew up fairly recently he's got yeah videos like over a million views about talking about it um yeah that's good people like hamza i think i don't really watch hamza i think i think oh yeah <laughs> i don't watch him either um, but he's definitely definitely 100 talks about it which uh, to be fair, that's probably good because mm -hmm, yeah because i heard iman Gandhi talking like the other day it was like to try and keep like society like a week i guess they kind of just over sexualize stuff like if you want to break a society, the first thing that you do is you make the men weak. And the other thing that you do is you over-sexualize society. Basically, um, yeah. Yeah. That is true. Um, kind of mad, to be honest, how yeah. how it is, you know? Yeah, no, I completely talk to people. I'm sure, I don't watch that much Andrew Tate, but I'm sure he talks about something like that. Um, He'll probably just like, say, like, why would you bother doing that when you can get five girlfriends? Yeah, exactly. Like that's not the type of thing he'd say. It's something like that. Which he, I, guess I have heard him talk say it's bad, yeah. I've watched a fair amount of him. Yeah, you're a little pussy ass can't stop himself from jerking off. I think porn's pointless. I don't watch porn ever, and I haven't for a long time because I'm too busy getting laid. Why would I masturbate when I have unlimited females? Like, it doesn't make sense. Don't be a little porn addict loser. You knew that anyway. What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the main thing I remember from last time I was talking about this was like, there's a, like, a bunch of benefits and stuff like whatever increased testosterone i think i've heard some people say that's not actually true but um yeah. more like mental clarity but i think the main thing the main benefit is every time you're like struggling you don't just turn to pleasure which is i think is the same with like cigarettes like anytime people are stressed they just go and do this negative habit whereas mm -hmm. especially if you're trying to self-improve like improve yourself um you almost want that's almost the opposite way you want to be engineering your brain. You kind of want to be, yeah. if you're struggling, you kind of almost want to go towards that more, go out of your comfort zone and think more like long-term instead of short-term. Yeah. Whereas it's basically training your brain neurons, just, oh, we're stressed. Let's go and have a quick moment of relief or whatever. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, yeah. yeah. And it's just, that is not how you want to be engineering your brain. For um, sure. Cause I think that's also something, even though, we just talked about all those guys that talk about it. Not all of them, but most of them don't talk about it as in you should stop it because it's f***ing you up. It's like they more so talk about it as in like, oh yeah, it has these crazy benefits, mm. which are like, I, some of the benefits are true, but some of them, you know, aren't. Like the whole testosterone thing, like I think it, it like if you stop if you do no fap for like seven days your testosterone like peaks and then it, it like after down days, again it that's what again. that's what i think i've heard yeah yeah um so there's some stuff like that um that they talk about there are benefits to it of course but i think the main reason most people should stop doing it is yeah just because of all the negative side effects which i actually talked about you're like wiring your brain in the wrong way um to uh go to those short-term pleasures instead of dealing with your emotions and and doing something about it because that's also something it's like if you're dealing with loneliness and you you know basically every time you feel it you're going to turn to porn 
mm -hmm. um, then you're not going to do anything to get like a long term solution to it um, because yeah. you can always just escape into that. Um, so yeah, and then also yeah, it's just like your your mental health and stuff, and it it's going to skew the way you look at sex as well. There's just so many like negatives yeah. to it. Um, and then yeah, I guess the, the positives are, are great too. But I think the main reason most people should do it is to stop all those, you know, terrible negative effects uh, that it has on your brain, as you said, just wiring it the wrong way.